Hi guys! I feel like it's been so long since I've said that, but welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Madeline. I'm so happy that you were here today. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy. I don't think I have filmed a video on here since I got my wedding dress in June. So it's been like three months I think since I filmed a video. I'm trying to get back into YouTube. I've just been so busy with work and stuff that I haven't had time to even do anything to vlog or film but I've decided I'm going to start posting again. I'm almost done with my seasonal summer job and I will have weekends off to actually go do things so I can vlog again. If you have video ideas you would like to see please comment them down below so I can start planning out the rest of October. I made a question box on Instagram asking for video suggestions and a lot of people wanted a wedding planning update, all things wedding content basically. So what the people wanted, y'all wanted wedding content, so that is what I'm doing today. So I'm going to give wedding planning updates at the end. First, we are going to be unboxing my Miss to Mrs. box. I think I unboxed my first one on YouTube. I've unboxed all of them on TikTok, so if you want to see what was in my other boxes, my TikTok, I believe, is down in the description. All my platforms are Madeline A. Powers, so if you ever want to find me, that's that's how you find me. This is my sixth box from them out of ten. Now, the themes with the boxes kind of go with where you're at in the wedding planning process. The boxes got a facelift this month. They were like hot pink, and these ones are all brown and white and super aesthetic looking. They're really cute. So this is what it looks like when you open it. This is the blushing bride box. It says, we know that planning a wedding is no piece of cake, even though there's cake involved and getting ready for all the events leading up to the big day might seem overwhelming. That is why we created this box filled with bridal must-haves to add some sparkle to your journey. Now you can show off your bridal style wherever you go. Each of the boxes come with a Miss to Mrs. wedding planning guide. These tips are about like hiring your stylist for your wedding, hairstyles with your dress neckline, shoes and accessory tips, stuff like that shoe style options, all the fun things, a veil guide. Underneath all that you have all the cute little goodies. So let's see what's in here. First is this little makeup bag and it's like um, chrome. Is that what this is called? I don't really know. But it says kiss the miss goodbye. This will be super cute to bring on my bachelorette trip just as like a makeup bag. You can never have too many little bags. Next is this on the go manicure set which I actually need. We're gonna open it. It says to have and to hold on. It's like engraved. This will be super nice to have just on the go in general. It has little scissors, nail clippers, tweezers and like a nail file. This will be nice just to have in my purse or my car or wherever I would need it on the go. Next is this little tin thing. It says love looks good on you. Here we go. Love looks good on you. And if you open it up, there are makeup brushes in here. We're actually going to open these up too. So it just comes with these five little travel size makeup brushes and I actually don't own travel size makeup brushes. I usually just pack my full size ones. This will save me a lot of space when packing my makeup. Next is this little silk scarf thing. You can wear it in your hair as a scrunchie. You can, they have it like on a bag. On this little thing they have it like on a purse or I think you can untie it from the scrunchie and wear it as like a real scarf. And it's really soft and I love the like pattern on this. I think this is super cute. I've been into like hair scarves and like bows and stuff lately. So this is very cute. Next thing is one of my favorites that came in this box. It's this little hairpin collection. This is like a little um, like see-through barrette. And I love this one that says bright. I will for sure be wearing this for my bridal shower and my bachelorette party. This little flower pearl one and then this pearl barrette. So these are so freaking cute. I just love these so much. And the last thing is this cute little wristlet and I love it. It says Mrs. on it. This will be cute for shower, bachelorette party. I can bring this on my honeymoon and use it as my little purse while we're down there. I just think this is so cute. Yeah, so this will be super nice because I don't want to carry like a purse around for my bachelorette party because I feel like that's 
easy to lose and this just hangs on my wrist and I can it'll stay on and this will for sure be good for my um honeymoon too because I don't want to be carrying a purse around the resort and stuff so super cute trying to put all of this back in here organized so I can film my TikTok after this that is what came in my sixth Miss to Mrs. box I don't know if I will film the rest of them on YouTube but I will for sure be filming them on my TikTok so if you want to see what's in the rest of the boxes and see what came in the boxes before this one I have a um like a highlight on my TikTok or a playlist. I'm not sure what they're called on there. And now for the wedding planning update. Last I gave you guys updates. I believe was June. I don't even know if I gave wedding planning updates in that video, but basically everything's booked. Most of the stuff is done. We just need to pay for it. Our photographer, venues, caterer is booked. I can't remember what I just said. Photographer, venues, DJ, food, hair and makeup is booked. We just booked our videographer. I kept going back and forth on whether I wanted one or not. I ultimately decided I did want a videographer. I will be posting our wedding video on here. And I just love the thought of always having that to look back on on our wedding day. And I think it'll be really fun to watch it every year on our anniversary and to show our kids and stuff one day. So I did decide to go with a videographer. So we just booked him. My dress is still not here. They said it would arrive anywhere between September and December and it is October right now. So it could be here any day now. It could be here in December. I'm not really sure. But I did just order a veil to go with it, so I will be bringing my veil up to try on with it. Oh, and my shoes came in too, but they are like up in my closet and I don't really want to get them down. But I did get my shoes in, my veil is on the way. We ended up ordering it from Etsy because veils are so freaking expensive, at least at the place where I got my wedding dress from. They were so pricey and they are a lot cheaper on Etsy, so bride hack if you are planning your wedding as well. Get your veil on Etsy. Another exciting part of the update is our save the dates are here. We ended up ordering through simply to impress. And I can show them to you guys. We haven't mailed any of them out yet. This is what they look like. Let's focus better. That's what they look like. And it's a magnet, which is super nice because you can just slap it on your fridge and you won't lose it. I'm super excited about those. I'm not sure if we're doing our wedding invitations through Simply to Impress. I haven't really looked at invitations on there yet. My cousin made hers on Canva, so I might honestly just make my own. I don't know how to print them out of Canva, though. So if you know how to do it, maybe I'll watch a YouTube video on how to do it. Or a TikTok or something. I don't know. We haven't decided on where we're doing our invites through yet, but the save the dates are here, which is super exciting. We've been working on getting addresses for everyone to start mailing those out. I've been working on our wedding website. It's almost done. We went through the knot. Oh, also something we need to do here soon. We haven't done our wedding registry yet, so I guess that's an update. We still need to do that. I think we're going to go through Target and Amazon, um, but we really haven't started anything yet, so I'm not sure. Up next, we still need to figure out flowers. We're not doing real flowers just because those are so expensive and they die anyways. So I think my bouquets and stuff are not going to be real flowers. And we've looked at a couple online places where you can get fake flowers from. We just haven't really nailed that down yet. And then coming up soon here in the spring, we will have my bridal shower and bachelorette, which I will be vlogging and stuff. So... You guys have those videos to look forward to. I feel like that's really all the wedding planning updates I have for you guys. So I think I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment videos you guys want to see. I'm going to try to do once a week. We'll see how long that lasts, but I'm going to try to start uploading once a week again, probably on Fridays like I used to do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Friday.